Hi there, it's John here from Cruise Holidays and here I am on the Black Watch and I'm going to take you on a tour of the Black Watch so stay with me because I'm going to take you from top here on top deck right down to the bottom public decks so here we go one of the advantages of being up on top deck is that you also get some fantastic panoramic views from uh, up here particularly if you're in a very pretty little area like we are here in Killybank. The other things up here on top deck is also there is a fitness centre um, which also has as you can see a steam bath and sauna and there's one for the men and one for the women. Well here we are in the observatory land and as you can see it's a great place to get a great view uh, some great drinks and some piano music in the background just to give you some ideas some of the views you can get there we go so that's the observatory land and this is on deck nine Here we are on deck nine still and instead of being at the front of the ship here we are at the back of the ship this uh, deck nine is also known as the marquee deck and uh, this has to be probably the best kept secret on the ship because very few people find it now deck nine at the back is called the marquee bar and pool area so you can see the marquee bar there you can get your drinks in the evening and come and sit out here uh, very few people find this particular little area but they're missing out because it has its own little pool and its own two jacuzzis and as you can see you cannot dive in those jacuzzis so you've got to slip into them instead the other great thing about this deck is that you can get some fantastic views and as you can see here in Killebegs we have some absolutely beautiful views well here we are on deck seven now um, deck seven is probably the one of the busiest of the decks it's the hub of uh, the activities uh, as you can see there's a nice seating area outside that extends out of the pool deck on deck six and you can get some pretty decent views from here it tends to be a bit more crowded it's uh, quite busy um, there's a nice bar which I'm going to get take you into in a minute um, but as you can see there's a nice terrace area where you can get uh, drinks um, and uh, watch the world go by as well so that's the beginning of deck seven that's the Lido terrace area let's go into the Lido bar coming out of the uh, Lido bar uh, you come into the bookmark cafe and the library area but it's also the casino area and although you can't see the gaming tables at the moment because they're covered up uh, they are in operation once the ship sets sail uh, two great things about the bookmark cafe is the beautiful coffees that they do but also come and have a look at the chocolates that they do as well you can buy these chocolates at a very reasonable price and i can tell you they are absolutely delicious well, as promised here are all those delicious chocolates as I, you can see they're all handmade and they are all very very delicious and this young lady here is a temptress because she uh, will tempt you to these chocolates if not a cup of coffee this is the library area uh, which is adjacent to the bookmarks cafe as you can see lots and lots of interesting books um, and magazines and uh, 
some very interesting old books as well that you can have a look at uh, in this table. So that's the library area and as I say it's right adjacent to the bookmarks. This cafe. is the uh, games room and as you can see there's some in lovely card tables where you can play bridge, gin rummy, uh, dominoes, mahjong, all sorts of uh, games available and uh, it's again adjacent to the bookmark cafe. On the walls you can see all the different places that the ship has visited too. So as you can see there are lots and lots of plaques. One of the great things about deck 7 is that it has a promenade deck which goes all the way down either side of the ship and you can walk along to the Lido bar this way just so that if you are interested in a balcony cabin we don't actually have balcony cabins as such you get these promenade uh, cabins promenade balcony cabins which um, are a little bit raised up from the from the deck and you can sit out and watch the world go by. This is the uh, coffee and tea station on deck six and it's also where you can go into the theatre as well. I'll just take you into the theatre in a moment um, but as you can see it's quite a nice little area if you want to come and relax. Right here we are in the uh, theatre and uh, as you can see it's a beautiful little theatre uh, they have some fantastic shows we've been really well entertained over the last few nights uh, we've had everything from the Beatles to um, swing music and we've just as we speak got a classical concert going on so I'm going to leave this uh, theatre now and uh, I'm going to take you into the orchid room and then into the pub. This is the orchid room and it's another nice little bar. You can get some of the Asian beers in here which you have to pay full price if you're on all inclusive. But uh, all the other drinks are uh, either included in your package or if you're going for the premium drinks then you get them at half price. As you can see it's a lovely lovely room and uh, there's some stunning views again. You always get stunning views when you're on a cruise to to Ireland and around Ireland. So let's carry on and we're going to go into the Morning Light pub. Oh here we are in the Morning Light pub and um, this is the um, one of the main bars on the deck six and as you can see you've got again some stunning views from the windows you've got a lovely comfy chairs uh, a good selection of uh, beers wines spirits all here on uh, the morning light pub and you've got really smiley boy bar staff as well who uh, Work very hard at keeping us well, uh, well refreshed. And uh, talk of which, as you can see, I've got a drink on its way. And today I'm having the cocktail of the day, and it's a Cuba Libra. Here we are in the Black Watch room. This is the fine dining restaurant. It's a speciality restaurant, so you have to pay. Um, a small supplement but it is well worth it. I've had two meals in here this week um, filet mignon which was to die for 
um, bit, probably the biggest f filet mignon I've seen ever in my life and I was really impressed by it um, as you can see that's a red jacket there which I absolutely adore and uh, it really is fantastic if you look at the decoration on the buttons it is so fine but this room is really dedicated to the black watch and even has black watch tartan as its carpet so that's the black watch room and it's only open in the evening and I absolutely love this it. is the Glentana restaurant and this is the main dining room of the ship uh, it's really beautiful been totally refurbished and uh, to my mind it's been refurbished very beautifully because you've got banquettes you've got tables for two you've got tables for four six and eight and it really has a fantastic vibe as well and by the way the food is absolutely excellent you know i have had some fabulous seafood in this restaurant over the last few days this is deck five and deck five is where you will find guest services some shops and the shore excursions and yeah look Georgia's already booking her next excursion. <laughs> Here we are on deck three. I've missed out deck four because there were some ladies in the spa, so we didn't want to disturb them. But there is the Atlantis Spa on deck four. But here on deck three, we have the medical centre and they have doctors, nurses, and uh, they can look after all your medical needs. Uh, but... Just to let you know, if you do come and see the doctor and have a consultation, it is £50 at least for the consultation. And then you add your treatment on to that. Right, here we are at the end of the tour and this is the Marina Theatre. And this is the um, little cinema. And it also is the venue for uh, demonstrations and also lectures. And... Uh, well, that's the end of the tour. So don't forget, check out the website, www.silverservicecruises.co.uk. I'm off for my dinner. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you all very soon. <laughs>